My name is David Griot. I'm head of cryogenic for ITER organization. ITER will operate with extremely low temperature to cool down its magnets in order to confine the plasma into its vessel. Europe, India and ITER organization will supply its cryogenic system, which is going to be one of the biggest in the world. The system is made by the cryoplant, which can be resumed as a massive refrigerator, which produces cold temperature and a distribution network of five kilometers of pipe with 50 cold boxes, which will connect the cryoplant to the machine. I am Mark Simon, I'm the deputy leader for the cryogenic project team. The cryoplant will consist of three helium and two nitrogen refrigerators with their auxiliary systems, as well as a helium cooling loop providing cooling at minus 193 degrees to the machine. Roughly eight kilograms per second of helium will be processed through the cryoplant in order to provide cooling to the machine, and in doing so, we'll reach temperatures very close to absolute zero. Europe will provide the LN2 plant and auxiliary systems, so two nitrogen refrigerators will be manufactured along with a helium cooling loop, warm and cold storage tanks, and a helium purification system. The two quench tanks are the largest components of the crowd plants, and today is a very special day for us because they have made it to the ITER site. I'm Gregory Kuzmenka. I am technical officer for Fusion for Energy. I work for cryo plant and fuel cycle team. Cold helium will circulate inside the magnets to bring their temperature down. From time to time, the magnets may experience a so-called quench. Basically, they'll stop being superconductive, start becoming resistant, and as a consequence, their temperature will start rising rapidly. As the temperature starts rising, the helium will start expanding, and would have to be extracted from the machine to be stored in the quench tanks. My name is Roger Martin. I'm technical officer for the cryoplant team. The quench tanks has been designed and manufactured by Early Kit and its subcontractor Charferox under F40 and ITER requirements. These massive tanks, so they measure 35 meters long by 4.5 meters in diameter, and its weight is 160 tons. Uh, the quench tanks are double wall tanks, uh, meaning that there are two tanks in one, one inside the other. The inner vessel is uh, made in, in stainless steel, and it will contain the cold gas helium coming from the quench. The outer vessel that surrounds the inner one, it will be uh, made in carbon steel and it will allow to isolate the inner vessel and keep the temperature as low as possible. All in all, it takes less than one year to manufacture both tanks and after the acceptance test, the tanks has been shipped from Czech Republic to France. Dyer, which is the company in charge of logistics here in I.O., they have arranged the last part of the transportation between Fossurmer and Cadarache in a single convoy of 140 meters. This, for sure, has been the biggest cryogenic component to be delivered on either side. My name is Didier Manier from Air Liquide. I'm VP Operation of Air Liquide ITER program. Air Liquide is supplying around 80% of ITER cryogenic production and distribution system. And these two quench tanks are major equipment of a cryogenic plant. ITER is a major project for Aliquid. It joins over similar scientific and research programs to improve air quality for better environment and health. We are proud to take part to ITER project, bringing our expertise in cryogenic to contribute to the energy of the future.